Hi there, Virgo! <clears throat> and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot! This is your tarot forecast for the week of <coughs> September 9th through to the 15th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Before we get started, I would like to wish each and every one of you having a birthday this week a very, very happy birthday. Plus, I want to remind you all from the video that I put out last week about the uh, Labor Day special that I am running on the channel here. So all you have to do is email me. The email, my email address is always in the description box below. And um, go ahead and order the special I have for the half hour reading. And um, I only have a few spots left. So try and get in there. It's over by the 15th. As long as you book by the 15th, we are all good. So that's all I wanted to say. Let's get to your reading now, Virgo. Ooh, your overall energy is the Knight of Cups in the upright. Followed then by the Eight of Cups upright, King of Pentacles upright. Lastly, we have the Three of Pentacles in the upright. And we have the Two of Cups. All of your cards are in the upright position. What is going on here, Virgo? <laughs> the overall energy, Knight of Cups, beautiful, beautiful energy. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is known as the Knight in Shining Armor, known as the Romantic Dreamer. Sometimes this can indicate a proposal is on its way to you. It can indicate, excuse me, some of you have met somebody new. And this person is a really, really romantic individual. Others of you, perhaps you've been dating somebody for a while, and this is someone who's really, really going to pull, pull out all the stops. Could be for your birthday or something like that. But they're really, really going to want to woo you this week. Others of you, if it's not playing out on the romantic um, front, this could indicate an offer or invitation to something that would really, really make you happy on the emotional front. Now, it could be an offer for your dream home. It could be an offer for your dream trip. It could be an offer um, to, uh, you know, an offer for, uh, especially if you're in the creative field, it could be an offer to do something along those lines. Uh, spirituality too, cups also govern. So it's a beautiful offer, um, really nice, something that's going to make you very, very happy. Now, it's going to be different for all of you, but remember, because this is just a general read so just um, take what makes sense in your scenario if this isn't about romance for you it could be on any other front where your emotions are involved sometimes people um, have their emotions uh, tied up in their career so maybe this is an offer coming to you of a dream career position if you're you know in um, creative field this could be an offer coming to you about something uh, creative maybe if you're an actor this could be an offer of a part in a movie or something like that um, right at the beginning of the week <laughs> Interesting, we have the Eight of Cups in the upright position. Well, this is someone who's on a vision quest for what exactly this? An emotionally uplifting experience. This individual here in the story of the tarot is, is headed towards the Nine of Cups. So they're looking for that emotional wish fulfillment, which for some of you could be a proposal, could be that dream job, could be that dream home or what have you, dream trip, whatever's going on. It's like you're just longing for it. This is the energy of just longing for something to bring an uplifting experience on the emotional front. Some of you, it's a relationship. For others of you, it's um, a hobby or it could be... Um, a dream job whatever it is you're like I'm looking for something that's gonna really really lift me up on a uh, like spiritually emotionally on every level next card up is the king of pentacles in the upright position this is earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn Sun Moon arising this is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position here Virgo you are definitely on the right path with anything, decisions that you're going to make concerning uh, the tangible things in life, such as our property, our, our jobs, our business, our home, um, uh, anything, uh, finances. This is you being on the right path. Even if you are searching for someone, because sometimes the King of Pentacles can represent, say, uh, an accountant. They can represent... Um, 
a real estate agent, someone who owns a small business, you could be looking for counsel. And if that's the case, you'll find the right person to be able to, maybe you just need to know like how, where should I put my money? What should I do with it? Maybe I, I need to buy a property, that kind of stuff. The king of pentacles is at the top of their game when they're in the upright position. And this includes you as well, Virgo. You are at the top of your game. You're making good, solid, sound decisions right now. Moving on towards the weekend, Three of Pentacles, beautiful cooperation energy. If you're working in a team uh, situation with other people, this could even be in the home, maybe yourself and your family are getting ready to, you know, clean up the house, do, you know, a fall or spring cleanup, depending on where you live in the world. This could be getting ready for, you know, the holidays or an event or something like that. This could also represent um, you working in a team environment where everyone's on the same page and everybody is definitely um, working towards a positive uh, end. Very beautiful cooperation energy. And the last card you have, talk about beautiful, is the Two of Cups in the upright position. Well, you start off the week here, Virgo, on the lookout for something. It looks like you find what you're looking for. The Two of Cups is a beautiful energy. This could be yourself and uh, someone else. Either Maybe this is someone, if you're single and looking, maybe this is someone you just meet. Or it could be someone who returns from the past. Or it could be uh, your current spouse. So doing something romantic. Like I said, it could be for your birthday, if your birthday is around this time. This is uh, connecting, finding that you're on the exact same page with someone else. Now, this is a wonderful feeling if this is your spouse and the two of you are making some plans or decisions about something. And this is completely uh, being like, you know, one mind, one heart, one soul. This is very much merging with someone else. Sometimes this can represent spending time with a best friend who a lot of times people say their best friend is their soulmate. Whatever's going on here, I'm giving all the possibilities again because it's just a general read. Whatever's going on for you personally, uh, Virgo, it's uh, something that's really positive. I love seeing that you're on the search for this type of energy, and there it is. So you're definitely going to be finding what you look, you're looking for this week. What a great reading. Hope it resonates for each and every one of you. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. But before closing up i am going to be pulling angel answers card for you communicate clearly this could be with that uh, special someone or it could be in work <laughs> because it could be anywhere it's your special message communicate clearly so that's what i have for you my dear virgos i hope you have a fabulous fabulous month or sorry week <laughs> and month too it is your birthday month so um yeah, I want to thank you for joining me, and I also want to say I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye for now. Take care. Much love. Namaste.